My name is Ray Becerra. For the last 30 years, Big Cypress has been my home. Every day for me is a new adventure. A lot of people think that what I do is very dangerous. But for me, it's my passion. This is what I love to do. Today, I'm getting ready to take you to look for one of the most dangerous critters in the Everglades, the venomous snakes. Florida is home for 50 different species of snakes, but only six they are venomous to humans. Over here in South Florida, we only have four different species of venomous snakes, and today, we're going to be looking for them. This is my horse, Domino, and to me, Horseback riding is the best way to approach wildlife and explore Big Cypress. Unbelievable. Just a few miles from the house, we found the first snake. Voy a coger el gancho. Wow, look at this. A pygmy rattlesnake, like always, by the road. This is actually one of the most uh, dangerous places because uh, when people actually get a flat tire, uh, sometimes they forget about everything, and that is what 90% of the time people get bit by the road. This is actually an adult. That is the biggest they can get. You can see the little tiny rattle in the tip of the tail. You see that? It's actually sound like a, like a bug. But that is good, right there. I can hear perfectly right now. You have to be less than two feet away to be able to hear that. That is actually good for the snake can get away from raccoons, from opossums, from bobcat. Because this over here is a rattlesnake. One of the smallest one in the planet, but actually, can still ruin your whole entire week if you can get bit by them. I like to leave this snake over here in the same place that I'm found. So I'm going to leave it right here because this is a natural habitat. Of course, she's not going to be coming this way because my horse is right behind me. So she can take off and we just can leave it right here. A lot of these snakes, they actually die in the road because they come into the road to get the sun and to warm it up the body. Remember, they call blood animals. So they need the sun every day. Now we're getting deep into the forest, and this is my favorite place to find the biggest and most dangerous snake in North America, the Eastern Diamondback. This is a perfect habitat for the uh, Eastern Diamondback. You can see the pine trees, everything is dry, and this is a palmetto. So palmetto actually is a perfect habitat for this type of snake. I can see a hole right here. It looks like a gopher tortoises. And um, the same holes used by the indigo snake and the eastern diamondback. Finding a snake has never been easy. Sometimes depends on the weather and you have to be a little bit lucky. to leave the horse over here because the sound from the saddle is not allowing me to hear the rattle from the snake. So I'm going to walk a little bit. Okay, I see one right here and it's a big one actually. It's a good, pretty good size, very hard. I don't know if I can reach it. But, uh, okay, it's coming right here. It's coming right here, right here. Right here. Oh my God. I got it, I got it, I guess a big one. Oh my God, this is dangerous over here. Watch out for me, Oh, jeez, oh, This is a real good size snake. Look at the rattle, Ooh. 
This is the diamond back, the Easter diamond back. Easy to recognize by the color. You can see the diamonds right here. She's actually not very aggressive. She's trying to get away from me. And look at the tail. Got actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments. That not mean nothing. That not mean how old is that snake. It's a lot of branch over here, so that can break many times. Normally, a snake shade the skin twice a year, and every time they shed the skin, one little segment is going to accumulate in the tip of the tail. This is a beautiful wood. Look at this. This is about four and a half feet long, and uh, the color is match exactly the environment over here. A little bit of greenish and the brown. She's in the perfect habitat. She's healthy. She probably eating rabbits. This is a lot of rabbits in the side over here. Look at the size of that head and look at the glands. Look at that. Beautiful snake. It's too bad. Oops. Rattlesnake is probably one of the fastest strike snakes on the planet. Eastern Diamondback, they're protecting the natural territory where they actually live. So we have to let it go. And even when it's powerful enough to kill somebody, that is they had the rights to be around here. searching for a different type of snake who prey on fish and frogs and love to live near the water, the dangerous water moccasin. Close to the water, I'm going to be walking a little bit because we are the perfect habitat for the water moccasin or cotton mouth. A water moccasin, all the way over there, baby. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right here, right next to the water. A baby water moccasin. Well, it's actually a juvenile. Cotton mouth or water moccasin. And you can see they live in place like this where they can catch a fish, frogs, anything right next to the water. She was enjoying the sun. Beautiful day, nice sun right next to the water. Beautiful. <coughs> you can see she had no rattle on the tip of the tail. So sometimes you shake the tail like a rattlesnake. And they happen to be between the leaf, it sound almost like a rattlesnake. going to leave this baby go right here in the same place we found. Bye baby. Be careful with the gators. Bye. The Florida venomous snakes play an important part of our ecosystem. I hope this show helped you to recognize one snake from the other one in case one day you have a close encounter with one of them.